The Start of the Day program provides the opportunity for all students to have a healthy snack each day. And so we have targeted our free and reduced students and reached out to those parents to make sure they felt comfortable with us providing a snack for them. And then once they've given us the go ahead, the classroom teacher then works to get the student the snack um, so that way they have something healthy every day. We started here at BB at the beginning of this school year. The teachers are provided with a uh, list of students who would require a snack and also that the parents have signed a permission form that they can uh, have the snack. I think they feel like they're being treated just like all the other kids and so that, that makes them feel good. Um, they know they're not being singled out um, and that basically somebody cares for them. When you think about getting your child to school each day, um, there's a lot that goes into that, packing their bag and getting their, their homework ready and, and getting them dressed, getting them out the door. So this is just one thing that they don't have to worry about. They know they can come to school, have a healthy snack, and they're gonna be you know, ready for learning. From a nurse's perspective, being able to meet a student's very basic need of, of having food to eat is very rewarding. Um, and we're not having to scramble around to figure out, oh, how are we gonna feed these children? Um, being able to just count on them and count on their relationship with Loaves and Fishes has been a, a really wonderful thing here at BB. You know, NEF is fantastic to our schools in, in District 203, um, and so NEF made this actually possible. So it's a, it's a true partnership in terms of NEF, you know, providing the funding, working closely with Loaves and Fishes, who then can work with us. At Snowball, actually, um, in my small group as a participant, it was one of the first times I had opened up about my past with drinking and you know various other negative coping skills, and I was met with a crazy level of support, you know, and love, and you know I was introduced to healthy coping skills, and I had never known that healthy coping skills even existed, you know. Um, rather than picking up a bottle, I could pick up a leash and walk my dog. You know, I could listen to music. I could hang out with healthy friends. You know, and that was something that I hadn't thought about before. I come from a very like low income family um, and so they were very relieved too to hear that there was financial aid available because my mom, I know she felt guilty about not being able to provide enough money for me to register for Snowball. But you know, with the grant and everything, she was 100% supportive, she was excited, you know, um, to hear that I could still get this experience and where I am now, she's very proud. If I had never received, you know, the grant, I definitely would have continued down the negative path. And it's a real shame because I know that a lot of teens, you know, are, are just like me back then, you know, where they're hanging out in the wrong crowd, you know, they don't have a support system, they haven't found themselves yet. And looking back at where I was and, you know, the leader that I am now, you know, I'm able to point out many, many positive things about myself. I'm able to carry myself highly, you know, I have that confidence. And I know that if I had never gotten that grant way back then, I would have never gotten counseling. I would have never gone to Snowball. Um, and, you know, with those things, I was able to become the strong person that I am today. Ann Reed Early Childhood Center is one of Naperville's newest schools. We have about 450 children that come to school here every day. We have a variety of different programs for children ages three to five. I was purchasing shoes here and there for my students with special needs. Some of the times I um, adapt shoes or I get them a brace that's been loaned and we don't want the parents to have to go out and buy a pair of shoes because some of our kids with needs also have some financial issues as well. So teachers and assistants noticed that some of their students were coming back with brand new shoes that I had bought and were wondering if I had any more. And I knew that that wasn't sustainable, that I buy shoes for every student who had a need in this building. I had just received the NEF trustee check the week before, and it just sort of all came together. I said, I've got a great idea. Let's not wait and write a grant. Let's not wait to buy shoes for kids. Let's use that money right away and get the shoes ordered. And the shoe closet was created. Children's feet uh, do 50% of their growing between the age of three and seven. And it's a really important time where the bones start to calcify, where your arches start to develop. Um, and it's important to have shoes that fit right now, not shoes that are three sizes too big, that are very expensive. We go for quite inexpensive shoes with a nice little arch and a little spring that fit right now. So it tells the child, that's where my foot is, and it's in really good alignment. And we got the money from NEF, and then we were able to buy a nice amount of pair of shoes in all different sizes. And Karen Pierce and I went through, figured out what sizes would be necessary, and bought different sizes, different colors, so the kids could have fun picking out the shoes, just like an actual shoe store, and just 
having that ownership of those, of those brand new shoes that fit. Thank you so much, NEF, for supporting our families at Ann Reed, and we look forward to more opportunities to get support, and we love working with you, so thank you so much.